First, Arizona schools can officially make their own rules on mass. The state Supreme Court ruled the ban on mass mandates is unconstitutional. The justices had a problem with the way lawmakers created this law. It was added into the unrelated budget bill. Brianna Whitney is live to break this down for us tonight. Brianna. Well, there's no doubt this is a win for the school districts who had put a mass mandate in place, which many of them ended up doing. But experts say this ruling could set up an interesting legislative session ahead. The Arizona Supreme Court unanimously tossing out the ban on mask mandates Tuesday, voting that the way the legislature went about making the law was unconstitutional. You know, the bottom line is it was, you know, it was unconstitutional, it was unsafe, and it was unpopular. I think, you know, the majority of Arizonans supported school districts. Uh, in making these decisions. Erin Marquez is a Phoenix Union High School District board member, which was the first Arizona district to announce a mask mandate at their schools after the budget was passed. Marquez is also a dad to a six-year-old who until now hasn't been eligible for the vaccine, so masks were a big mitigation tool. That's been important for my daughter and important for uh, you know all, all the friends that she has that she goes to school with. Several state lawmakers, education groups, and nonprofits sued the state to be able to make their own rules on masks, but this ruling goes beyond just the school mask debate. The biggest part of this story is that for at least two decades, the legislature has been uh, culturally allowing this sort of behavior. This will be the most significant cultural change at the legislature because of this ruling that I've seen in 30 years. Stan Barnes is a political consultant and says often unrelated issues that failed earlier in the session were added into the budget bill at the end to get passed. That violates the Constitution, but he says this certainly isn't the first time it's happened. The third branch of government told the first branch of government, you cannot do that. You're out of bounds. Governor Ducey's office telling Arizona's family in a statement today, they're extremely disappointed in the ruling and that the judiciary should respect the separate branches of government. Of the seven Arizona Supreme Court justices, Governor Ducey appointed five of them. For those critics of Governor Ducey, who's saying he only appointed uh, folks that would parrot what he wanted. I mean, they're absolutely wrong. In this case, the court established its own independence. Throughout all of this, Governor Ducey has just said he wants parents to make the choice whether their kids wear masks or not. He doesn't want the schools making the choice for them. Jamie. Brianna, is there any way this lawsuit could go up to the U.S. Supreme Court? So not this lawsuit because this is a state lawsuit. So the state Supreme Court is the highest ruling on this. It's just not a federal lawsuit. That's what would go up to the U.S. Supreme Court. Brianna, thank you.